Since it was first held in 2003, the UK Open has featured some interesting qualifying routes, giving it one of the most unique fields each and every year. It also has some other unique factors, such as a lack of seedings and open draw. The event has had many sponsors over the years, including Budweiser between 2004 and 2006. During that time, Phil Taylor hit the first ever nine data in the event and was awarded 501 bottles of Budweiser. Tool hire firm Speedy Hire first sponsored the tournament in 2011, leading to the introduction of the strangest PDC major qualifier we've ever seen, as they were given 32 qualifying spots. By this point, amateur players were already a staple of the UK Open, with qualifiers held every year before. In 2010, eight BDO counties were even offered a qualifying spot as a reward for voting to discuss Barry Hearn's proposed takeover. This was a unique one-off offer and saw players such as currently banned Prakash Jiwa qualify. However, the 2011 introduction of the Speedy Hire sponsorship saw something even stranger introduced. In 2011, Speedy hosted qualifiers at four of their branches in Bristol, Dartford, Stoke and Glasgow. In a strange format, Players had to score the highest possible total with just 15 darts. The highest scorers from that would then go through to a single knockout round where the eight winners of a one-leg game at each venue would get a spot at the UK Open. The first of the qualifiers took place in Bristol and saw players qualify with their averages in the 15 dart challenge ranging from 97 to just 51. Just a reminder, all of those darts were thrown for the highest scores and not at doubles. The lowest average from the Bristol qualifier was from Peter White, the uncle of 1975 News of the World champion Derek White. Peter picked up his darts again just two weeks before that speedy qualifier. The qualifier on the following day was in Dartford, where the averages ranged from 94 to 51.8. Jamie Robinson, who averaged the highest, and Ian Coville, both of whom had previously appeared in the UK Open, made it through, as well as Conan Whitehead, who has gone on to reach two Lakeside quarterfinals and won a Champions Week at the Moda Super Series. Eddie Martin, who made it through that same qualifier, hadn't picked up a dart for six years before the qualifier. PDC chairman Barry Ahern had a go at qualifying through the Dartford event, but only scored 124 with his 15 darts. The qualifier in Stoke saw averages range from 112 to 50. The 112 average by Kevin Sim was the highest across any of the qualifiers. Sim would go on to qualify for the PDC World Championship in 2017. Robbie Green also made it through, a future Lakeside semi-finalist. Charlie Appleton, who averaged just 55, took around 30 darts to hit the winning double in his match and hadn't played for 20 years. The fourth and final qualifier took place in Glasgow, where the eight averages ranged from 106.8 to just 43.4 by Tommy Little, the Glasgow Stores health and safety manager who qualified on double one. There were two other averages in the 40s in that qualifier, which also saw Ryan Murray make it through, who played in the 2021 PDC World Championship. The speedy qualifiers were then confirmed. The average 15 dart scores of the 32 qualifiers was 365.75, giving a 3 dart average of 73.15 without having to throw at doubles. 15, just under half of the qualifiers, were staff of speedy hire. The qualifiers then rocked up to the UK Open, where they were presented with their custom speedy dart shirts. So, let's take a look at their results. Seven of the players went out in the preliminary round, 20 in round 1, and 5 in round 2. Only a few of the players had to start in the prelim round, so the vast majority lost their first game. One of the five players to get through to the second round, Brandon Walsh, only got there after he got a bye through the first round, after Mensa Sulevic was disqualified for being timed out. Ian Coville, who beat fellow speedy qualifier Stuart Daniels in the prelim round, appeared on the TV stage for his round one game against Big John Henderson, where he was beaten 4-1. However, we are going to focus on the efforts of speedy qualifier Darren Pugh, who qualified with the highest score from the Bristol event, and the third highest score overall. Pugh didn't have to play in the prelim round and was instead draw to start in round one against Hawaii 501 Wayne Mardell. This was actually the last ever major event that Wayne ever appeared in, meaning that he was far from the peak of his powers. Mardell was priced at 500 to 1 to win the event, quoted at 10 times more likely than qualifier Pugh. For their specific game, Mardell was priced at 5 to 2, compared to Pugh, 
who was at 7-4. What transpired would make PDC history for all the wrong reasons. Pew started very badly, hitting lots of single fives in leg one, which Marder won after being allowed lots of time to finish. Darren played even worse in leg two, where he was snatching many darts and hit a 24. Marder won that leg, with the qualifier back on 278. Pew hit scores of 26 and 45 back to back in leg three, which Marder won. Leg four was Darren's best, but his performance was summed up when he hit a treble 20 followed by single 1 and 5. Mardo ended up winning 4-0 in a game where Darren finished with an average of just 50.85, which is the lowest of any player in a televised PDC Major singles game. Many would expect that we would never see Darren near a PDC Major again, but something even stranger was about to happen. Speedy Hire remained as the UK Open sponsor in 2012. They again had 32 qualifying places, and used the 15 dart format again. Six public qualifiers were held, each offering four spots to members of the public. That left eight spots remaining, which were reserved for a speedy employee only qualifier held in Haydock. It's crazy to think that a sponsor got offered this, the chance for eight of their staff to qualify for a PDC ranking major. Not all the averages are available, but of the 30 speedy qualifiers that year, only one made it through to round two. All eight of the qualifiers from the Speedy Staff event held in Haydock lost in their first game, all losing by a scoreline of 4-0, failing to pick up a single leg. This included Pew. The only player who did make it through to round two, Andy Murray, got a bye through the preliminary round. Therefore, no Speedy qualifier won two games that year. There was a standout result for John Jukes, who came through the Brighton qualifier, as he beat Steve Beaton 4-2 in the prelim round, before losing in a decider to Davy Dodds in round one. Speedy stayed as a sponsor for the event in 2013, but the quality of the qualifiers was higher as there were no Riley's qualifiers that year, and so instead the top amateurs tried to get through the Speedy event. There was also no staff only event. The averages from the 15 dart challenge range from 116 to 82.6. Stephen Bunting made it through the Manchester qualifier, which Nathan Aspinall attended, scoring 473 points with his 15 darts. However, the Asp lost to Nigel Daniels in the knockout round. The fact that the players were of a higher quality showed in the results, as 11 of the 32 players made it past round one. Seven went out in round two, three in round three, and one, Stephen Bunting, in round four. Speedy stopped sponsoring the event in 2014, when the tournament moved to its current venue, Butlin's Minehead, meaning that Bunting remains the most successful speedy qualifier in UK Open history.